Okay guys, this next experiment we're going to do is magnetic tornadoes. And for that we're going to need two, uh, I can't remember if these are two liter bottles, soda bottles, cleaned out, washed out. Um, and then we'll need vinegar, we'll need salt, we'll need oil, confetti, or little scraps of paper, glitter. Um, and 3 8 inch steel washers okay also need tape masking tape some type of tape okay and basically we're going to make tornadoes in these bottles and after we've filled up one bottle we're going to take the measurement of the height of the water and we're going to record that in our data so we're going to see if different water conditions such as adding maybe oil or salt or vinegar or confetti will make a difference in how the tornado looks how the tornado looks inside of the water bottle so we're going to record the water condition right now we're taking the height and then how long did it take to drain to the lower bottle so we'll show you how we'll set up the lower bottle in just a moment so you guys did you take the measurement 10 inches 10 inches, so I need somebody to write 10 inches here under the height. The next part of this experiment is to invert the empty bottle, which is this one, on top of the full bottle. So we're going to put in between each the 3 8 inch washer. So we'll put that on top, and then we'll tape it. And then once we tape it down, we'll invert this empty bottle on top and then I'll show you how the tornado works. Two more things I forgot to add that we're actually going to need in this experiment is a measuring tape or ruler so that we can measure you know how how much liquids are in these bottles and a stopwatch which I'm using one on my phone um, it's an app so we can do I actually have it on alarm but I'm going to change it to stopwatch and that will help us to measure exactly how long it takes for the water on one side of the vortex to, or one side of the bottle to empty into the other. Okay, so we're getting it started. Let's see how long it takes for our tornado to begin. Yeah. Okay, they, I don't see it happening yet. Okay, I see some bubbles going to the top. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw one go up. Okay, we're going to spin it and then we're going to. Whoa. Whoa, good. Wow, it's working. It's working. A whole bunch of water's gone. No, anyway, we've got to do it again. Okay, let me try it again. Let's watch our tornado. Whoa. Oh, look, and the top one. Whoa, Whoa there it goes, guys. It goes up and then it goes down. Let's try it. it goes up Want and down. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. My time in it, still. Good. Ooh. You have to spin it around. Do we light a light here? Maybe a tea second. Ooh, look, it's shallow. Whoa. That's so cool. That's so cool. Like, really cool. Whoa. Sun's falling out, but that's okay. Well, that's... Okay, how many minutes? Okay, so now we're, we're doing the salt. We added two tablespoons of salt, which has already gone to the bottom of this one and we're recording our data okay now we're going to turn everything upside down and see what happens with the tornado mm -hmm. okay I think this salt's making it now. oh there you go Changed. Ooh. Ooh. There it goes. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Oh. And then the other one. So the same thing with the, the saw at least kind of takes more time. Yeah. Stop. Good. Okay, this time we're using uh, one part vinegar with water. So here we go. And you can press start on your stopwatch. Okay, so now we're going to do the oil and water and see what happens. Okay, this is very tricky. Oil and water. Ooh, that looks pretty. type of reaction there. That's the good part. Okay, stop recording. So as you can see guys, on the water and oil experiment, the oil at the top separated from the water at the bottom, and this is pretty much it. It stays that way. And so now we know oil and water, of course, don't mix. But this was a really cool way to see it in action. So there we go, we did the uh, tornado experiment and right when the swirl process or reaction was happening, um, the, the water swirled through but the oil stayed put. So that was pretty cool. And it's still upside down and the oil is still here. I'm not going any further. I think we have a little bit more water left. Yeah, as you can see when I try to agitate it, the oil just continues to stay at the bottom.